Boom. What's going on, guys? All right, I want to talk about resistant bands and if you can build muscle using them. So resistant bands are those stretchy, you know, rubber type thingies, right? You could buy the tubes or you could buy the, the bands, okay? Either or it works. And there's different types of resistant bands and types, different types of resistance, okay? So you could have a an easy resistance, meaning you could stretch it pretty easily. Then you got your medium and then you got your heavy. So medium's kind of tougher and then obviously the heavier is much harder to, to stretch. And you can build muscle using these bands because it provides resistance, okay? You're, you're, you're putting resistance on your body and so forth. And when you do that, your muscles has to work in order to perform the action. And when you continuously do it, you know, over and over and over, you're causing damage to any muscle group that you are utilizing, right? So, you, you know, for, for instance, if you're using a, a bicep curl, using uh, the, the bands, right? It's going to take some time for your bicep to, to be taxed. But sooner or later, once you've extended, contracted, right, you're causing micro tears, which will end up in the building of the muscle, right? Because uh, in order to create muscle, you need to create damage to that particular muscle. And then after that, once you start eating and letting your body recover, then it will build new tissue. So yes, you guys can build muscle using resistant bands. It may be a little bit harder because free weights versus resistant bands is completely different, night and day difference, right? With free weights, you require a little bit more strength and power, and it puts a little bit more stress on the bones and joints, whereas resistant bands, they don't, they don't place any type of stress on your bones or joints. So it's very effective and very useful and beneficial for those who have a condition or if you're elderly or whatever the case might be if you're not trying to put stress on your joints or bones then resistant bands are the way to go and or using um, uh, machines you know machines don't require that much and they don't put that much stress on your bones and joints as uh, free weights do so but anyways yes um resistant bands are versatile they're portable convenient and very lightweight okay so you could use resistant bands practically anywhere at home in the office in the gym in the hospital in your bed in the bedroom wherever you want to work out at you could use these resistant bands because they're easy to use they're portable and they're flexible right you could maneuver it with any with with any style with any movement you know you could work on anything by using resistant bands you could focus on stretching mobility work and or building muscle. You can also develop strength and power as well. And that comes with progressive overload. So once you, you know, master the, the you know, the, the different types of resistant bands, then you go up in weight to provide a, a stimulus or to provide a progressive overload. And from that, you will gain more muscle and more strength and more power. So, yes. And it gives you a little bit more um, room to play with, as in, the range of motion, you could connect your mind to muscle connection better, and uh, it's not as risky. Like, for instance, if you're going to do like a bicep curl, a lot of people like to use a barbell, but as a result or as a consequence, it sometimes ends up in a tear, in a bicep tear, because there's so much force from free weights, right? And free weights only tax the bottom of your muscle groups, okay? So when you're, when you're using free weights, you're not utilizing the whole muscle group per se, right? So, for instance, when using dumbbells, a bicep curl, you're not using a whole bicep in order to perform that action. You're actually using majority of the bottom, and then once you come up top, there is no tension. But when you let go, when you come down on that, then you're placing a huge amount of tension on the bicep. Whereas resistant bands, it, it places greater tension on the on any muscle group, in my opinion. Because it requires a little bit more stabilization, which recruits more muscle fibers. And you're not taxing your joints because your joints are not withstanding heavy, heavy weights. So it gives you a better opportunity to create damage to that particular muscle, to create more tension to that particular muscle. And it's just better when you have better um, tension on, a, on, on any particular muscle because that's where... Uh, muscle building comes from okay um, lifting heavy is not the key factor for muscle growth the, the key factor for muscle growth is muscle damage 
But obviously, lifting heavy will cause muscle damage greater than lifting, uh, you know, uh, light. But since a lot of people use their ego to lift, a lot of people don't know about form or technique and so on and so forth, then I highly recommend those who really want to build muscle to try using resistant bands, okay? Uh, you could utilize resistant bands on its own, or you could use it at the end of a workout or in the middle of a workout or at the beginning of a workout, okay? Because, like I said, the key factor for muscle, muscle growth is muscle damage. So if you place a whole lot of tension on any particular muscle group by using resistant bands, you will achieve that stimulation and that muscle damage, right? But in order to progress a little bit more, it might be easier to lift weights because, you know, uh, it's just a little bit more convenient for, you know, progressive overload. At the same time, you know, it, it really depends. If you're going for strength and power, perhaps using free weights is the way to go. But when it comes to muscle building and muscle stimulation and making the, the muscle perform better and so on and so forth, when it comes to form, technique, mind to muscle connection, resistant bands is the way to go. Okay, people. So that's pretty much it. I do use... Uh, resistant bands myself because I find it very useful and beneficial for building muscle and yeah I mean in order to you know progress in muscle building you need to have different stimulations you need to shock the body so on and so forth and sometimes you need to focus on light weights focus on the tension focus on the on the muscle damage part aspect you know instead of using your ego and involving other other muscle groups and so on and so forth and that's another key factor I should have mentioned that when using resistant bands, you aren't utilizing other muscle groups in order to perform that action or to perform that exercise, okay? Because it's lightweight. The the resistant bands are white weight, so it gives you the opportunity to utilize that muscle that you are training to its fullest, okay? So you can yield better results at the end of the day by using resistant bands. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below and subscribe for more.